the we, we can make it much much smaller than this but uh, basically we have a 12 volt power adapter that goes into the rails of this breadboard and then we have the ground connected to our microcontroller which we can get really really small microcontrollers this is a just a normal size one all this stuff is don't worry about that it's for something else uh, connects to the ground and then we have the A0 pin uh, connected over here to the breadboard with a resistor going into a transistor which then controls the negative going into this LED light. So what we can do is we pass through the 12 volt to the positive and control the negative using the microcontroller. And right now it's connected to my computer, uh, but once we load this code in, it'll just be on the microcontroller's memory. And our code it could not be simpler. Uh, we pulse it for 12 and a half milliseconds on and 12 and a half milliseconds off, and we do that every 25 milliseconds uh, forever. So let's go ahead, I'll turn the lights off. and upload this code to the microcontroller and then look. Now, it probably doesn't even look like it's flickering uh, because this frame rate is only 30 frames per second and what it's doing is it's uh, flickering uh, 80 times per second, so 40 hertz. Uh, but uh, yeah, we can add like a switch so that we can make it flicker faster or slower. Uh, not even a switch, we can add like a little dimmer handle. Uh, and of course we can add like a button that, that makes it not stop flickering so it can just operate as like a normal light. Um, but uh, yeah, I can confirm it is, it is fast enough and it is flickering at the appropriate rate. And these are just standard LEDs. I bought these for six bucks on Amazon, and you can make them as long as you want. This is a meter. Uh, so yeah, that's it.